Welcome. Hey everyone. Inaugural episode of Incredibly Adequate. Our first episode is uh, 60s retro food. Vintage. That's that a better word to use. It was less than appealing anyways. Yeah. We've got a handful of extremely weird stuff to try and eat. Well, we'll start with our entree, which will be... Which looks delicious, by the way. Ham and bananas hollandaise. Mmm. Because those go together. So we've got bananas, lemon juice, Slices of boiled ham, though we're cheating, we went with some deli ham. <laughs> Mustard, hollandaise sauce, of course, and some light cream. Well, you can see in the image that it's... Mm. Paired with some grapes <laughs> and some salad. Yeah. Beauty. Masterpiece. <laughs> we'll follow that up with uh, a bit of a, a snack or maybe a, a side, because you want to have a salad when, you're, when you've got your entree. Who wants a regular old salad? When you can have some pears with Miracle Whip in it. <laughs> Miracle Whip was specially created to make even the simplest salads exciting. With just a pear half and a lettuce leaf, you have a wonderful salad when you use Miracle Whip. This is not endorsed by Miracle Whip. I don't even like Miracle Whip. It's gross, actually. But with any meal, you need a wonderful beverage to go with it. That's right. So this is our, this is fresh up with 7-Up. 7-Up in milk. Ugh. Mix chilled 7-Up and cold milk in equal parts by pouring the 7-Up gently into the milk. Do not stir. Don't stir it. That would just ruin it. That would destroy it. It pleases children. When I you say something it. pleases children, you just... <laughs> Look the, how happy he is. The He's 60s, so pleased. The 60s and 70s were a gentler time. I feel like the carbonation would just like curdle the milk. Almost I mean, instantly, it's, yeah. It's not like, it's not acidic. At least I don't, I don't know what's in 7-Up. Carbonated seven. water and seven ups. <laughs> we gotta round out this wonderful meal with a with a wonderful dessert. Oh. Can you even call this a dessert? I would call it a dessert. Tuna and waffles. Perfect. Tuna tuna is not dessert, but it's waffles like, are dessertish. Waffles. It's like chicken and waffles, but worse. Yeah. All right. So you're blending a can of Campbell's cream of mushroom. Oh, we're off to a great start. Mm mm. Good. Half no a third cup of milk, one cup drained flaked tuna and a quarter cup of sliced stuffed olives. Mm. I just yeah. want to know who ate this and was like, you know what this needs? Olives. I want to, how do you come up with something like tuna and waffles? Yeah. You run out of chicken and you're like, well, I've got waffles, but I don't want just waffles. What, what have I got in the cupboard? Well, I've got tuna and I got some soup. It's an empty, this is a divorced dad's fridge. <laughs> and all that's left in there is a jar of olives. Um, uh, <clears throat> I feel sick already. I feel excited. All right, so let's go find our ingredients. We made it to Walmart. <laughs> Pick some good ones. They're green. Uh, what's a good pear? I don't even like pears. Waffles! Waffles! Guaranteed unbeatable. <laughs> Not like my wife, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Just get the small stuff. Wait, well, it's the same price. Is this... Wait, it, that's four ninety seven, and this giant one beside it is two forty seven. I mean, it's not, it's not name brand, but still. You deal weed? Canned fish. We need the flake. Jesus. Low sodium skipjack and what's skipjack? It's tuna. <laughs> Is it? Skip. Well, what's yellow? That's a different type of tuna. Oh yeah, there can be more than one tuna. We want this. Half court. Kobe. Who saw fish? And we make a sauce out of this. Gross. Alright. 
Careful, man. Let's get out of this junk. Where'd we park? Let's get cooking. So we're back at Walmart because this idiot left his keys in the cart. I can't even... <laughs> <laughs> Add a little muscle. I don't have any. <laughs> oh my god. This is... Okay, I got it. <laughs> These are not ripe. Ugh. Sprinkle it. How do you sprinkle? Have you washed your hands? No. We're spreading mustard on the ham. <laughs> now we bake it for 10 minutes. What about the sauce? Oh, we make the sauce while it's baking. Oh. Idiot. Don't burn yourself. <laughs> Because there's like uh, bits of uh, burnt mustard in there. Mm. Just like Mario Batali taught me before he was a rapist. Or whatever he is. Is, is Mario Batali a rapist? Yeah, he's part of the movement. The rapist movement? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to scoop this. Ooh, you're scaring me. Good job. <laughs> I'm shattering the. You just. There you go. Just like mama used to make. If you just squeeze it hard enough. Okay. Don't do that. <laughs> I hate like 80% of the ingredients we're using today. Boom. Oh, artisanal. Look at that. Plated like a pro. Like my old pal, the rapist, Mario Batali. <laughs> I don't know how to use it. It's not doing anything. Yeah, it is. It's not. It's literally just... <laughs> it is. It's literally done nothing. <laughs> no, it has. No, it hasn't. It has. It's gone all the way around. There's yeah, rivets yeah. all it, the way around. I know. Put it down. Now hold on to it. Yeah, I'm holding. Oh, that's dumb. Looks like cat food. Well, whatever. Perfect. Well, yes. <laughs> Looks like I'm throwing up on it, which I probably will do, to be honest. It actually does look like vomit. It's half and half. Yeah, so full. I gotta pour it in gently. Don't mix it. Don't you dare mix it. Oh god, it's like foamy. Or curdled. Oh, stop. Stop. Don't mix it. <laughs> Don't drink it. Okay. <coughs> I actually feel sick already. Look at this <laughs> milk. It's literally curdled. It's like top. foamy on the top. This is disgusting. Main course. Okay. Right. Well, okay, oh. I'm cutting. I'm cutting. I'm going in the middle. I'm getting towards the end. No, I'm getting right in the middle. I'm getting everything you can. Do you feel sick? I feel yeah. sick. I just it out. Banana and mustard don't go, for one. It's so mm. much mustard. I think we use too much mustard. Wow. Why was this in a magazine? So really, I think the mustard ham and hollandaise, not that bad. But you've got a real thick, mushy lemon banana in there. Yeah, it's not good. Those are some opposing flavors. 
I don't like hollandaise sauce. <sighs> That's a battle in my mouth. And, the, and I don't like mustard. The only loser is me. We may have used too much lemon. Well, no. I don't know if you can see, It's but very lemony. I mean, it prevented, it prevented the browning. There's a spot where there's no lemon on, and it's just gross. Like, it's just destroyed. That's I'm just, awful. I'm just doing one bite of that. I'm not. Oh, I'm done. I'm, not eating I'm more done. Of this. I am done. I wash it down with a good old sip of Seven Up and milk. Uh, cheers to the first episode. Cheers. It's not gross. Um, it tastes like you've ruined Seven Up. Or milk. It does taste like ruined Seven Up. It pleases children. This stuff will give you a good milk mustache though, hold on. I'll try it. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I tried to get the biggest mustache I could get. Good job. There's just so much salad dressing. <laughs> Alright, so just grab the, the wet lettuce. Oh my god. It's very wet lettuce, I like power washed it. <laughs> I just tore it. Okay, ready? Yeah. Go. <coughs> I can't even finish the bite. Oh. I need the 7-Up milk to wash it down. If you liked Miracle Whip. Yeah, but you don't need, just eat Miracle Whip alone, and that's what it tastes like. You taste the pear at first, and then the pear goes away, and you have a mouth full of just Miracle Whip. And I don't know for those for those out there that eat spoonfuls of Miracle Whip, don't. That's gross. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. This drink isn't terrible. It's like when you're in a talent show and you go after someone who is just terrible. I think that's. And it. you're bad. By comparison. But because you're because you're following up, it's not. It's, it's not, not bad. bad. It's, it's not okay. Of these three, but we still have our. Next we day. still have our wonderful dessert coming up, so. What was this? Tuna and waffles. Tuna and waffles. I like tuna and I like mushroom soup. I've never had the two of them together. Turns out it makes vomit. I'm just going, I don't need a knife. Oh. <sighs> Ooh, it smells terrible. Okay. This is actually what I think cat food actually tastes like. Mm hmm You know what's really disgusting? This. These were published, that's the worst part. Yeah, so we so got all published these- Published food, recipes. Yeah, I mean, we found them online, but they all came from cookbooks or like ads in magazines. Like the Miracle Whip is an ad in a magazine. Yeah, that's not, it's not good. That was a, an awful dinner, by the way. Yeah, thanks for coming over and having dinner with me. Never again. No, we'll do it again. It'll be fun. I'm already, I'm not looking forward to the next one, but I am at the same time. I hope you join us too. Thanks for watching.